The anti-corruption watchdog in the Northern Territory has found the parliamentary speaker responsible for serious breaches of public trust. Here's reporter Jane Barden with more. Jane, what's the uh, speaker been found to have done? Well, the ICAC uh, head, Ken Fleming, has found that the Speaker basically tried to interfere in the formation of a new party in the Northern Territory, which was going to be called the North Australian Party. And she directed her staffer to basically work out whether that name was already registered so that one of her old political opponents, Terry Mills, couldn't register the name and start a new party. But what the Commissioner has found is that uh, she also uh, then denied Denied having any involvement in using what should be an independent office with independent resources to do that and that she allowed her staffer Martine Smith to basically take the rap for uh, this attempted interference. The Commissioner also found um, that uh, this had happened in uh, November 2018 but when he was investigating it up to last month that the Speaker uh, denied again in questioning to his office that she had done this and that she's potentially committed an offence under the ICAC Act by doing that as well. And what's been the reaction from the government? The Chief Minister, Michael Gunner, has said that he's asked the Speaker um, to consider um, resigning. Uh, Labour has massive numbers, though, in the Parliament in majority. And so um, if the Speaker doesn't voluntarily resign, it can use its numbers to remove Casey Apurek as the Speaker. It's an interesting situation because the government, uh, in theory, you would think that they would have taken the Speaker's position, um, but they've basically allowed Casey Apurek, who's been a close ally of Labour, to hold that role. So uh, there's a bit of tension in that decision there. But this is what the Chief Minister, Michael Gunner, has said about this today. My responsibility has always been about saving lives and saving jobs and doing whatever it takes to tackle coronavirus. I thought it was an appalling act, to be honest. Um, to try and think about taking opposition status during coronavirus. It was something that filled me with disgust. But let it be said, that's again a matter for them. I'm worried about coronavirus and saving territory lives. And so basically we haven't yet heard from the Speaker what her intention is, but uh, it's a very serious situation for the whole reputation of the Territory Parliament and particularly for the future of her office.